Hey guys, Jesse the Reader here. We are at the Epic Reads Facebook Live Lounge at the BookCon, and I am joined with the incredible Cassandra Clare, author of the Shadowhunter Chronicles, along with the recent Lord of Shadows, which I am currently reading. 200 okay. pages left. Time yeah, to know what happens. Well, <laughs> no spoilers, though. But um, uh, if you could describe Lord of Shadows using an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you choose? Oh, um, <laughs> Paleans and Heartbreak. Oh, <laughs> nice choice. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite thing about writing in the urban fantasy genre? I think that it gives me an opportunity to write fantasy that's really grounded in um, the reality of what we experience every day. Mm -hmm. So it's a way of being able to look at ordinary things and see the sort of magical side of them, which is always fun. So if I'm, you know, stuck in an airport or something, I'll start thinking, you know, where would the shadow hunters, you know, come in and out here? Are yes. there any secret entrances? Where's the <laughs> hidden supernatural stuff? And that's right. always entertaining. I forgot to mention, we're also taking your questions down in the comments. <laughs> so hit up the comments, ask us some questions. Um, so if you could live in any fantasy world, which Ooh. fantasy world would you live in? I don't know. There's the ones that are interesting and the ones that seem like fun to live in. And they're not always exactly the same. Like, right. You wouldn't want to maybe live in Westeros yeah. because it's so violent. Right. And like, <laughs> I don't want to risk that. <laughs> exactly. Like, it's terrible if you're, you know, poor. If you're rich, you have to get involved in all this weird politics and, yeah. you know, the Game of Thrones. You mm -hmm. win or you die. That's yeah. a lot of No, thank you. A lot of effort. <laughs> I'll pass on that. Exactly. <laughs> I, I think I might have to go with a classic. Um, I think probably Harry Potter because it's very comforting. Yes. You know? I mean, yeah. a lot of us, you know, I grew up with it, or I read it when I was, you know, in, in college. And um, I think that for a lot of us, it's a very, very comforting world, even though there's some danger. Yeah. The actual, like, into Hogwarts and the, you know, yeah. environs just seem like the safe place. Yeah, it just feels very homey. Exactly. Yeah. It just seems like relaxing. Yeah. Classes don't seem that hard, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, you know? they really don't. <laughs> no, I know. I'm like, I can memorize a couple words of Latin yeah. and, you know, yes. make something float. That would be fine. What about the Shadowhunter world? Would you ever live in that world? It's a really like, dangerous I live in that world. Already. world. It's in I, my do, head. I do feel like I live in that world a <laughs> right, little bit. Right. It's a fun world. It's a bit of a dangerous world. I mean, yeah. I really would I would love to visit I think that would be really really fun yeah. um, but it's uh, it's a pretty harsh world mm -hmm. and uh, they're pretty they, they live by pretty harsh like militaristic rules and I don't yeah. know if I would actually enjoy that <laughs> yeah. all right we have a question here from Courtney and they ask what's your Hogwarts house oh um, I I think probably Slytherin I'm always plotting yeah I yeah. know right I don't want to admit it but I think it's probably did you take true. the actual like Pottermore quiz the qu I don't think I did totally take the should. quiz I don't think I did take the quiz <laughs> yeah. um uh, but like I was a Harry Potter fan for many 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 years right. and I always was kind of like attracted to Slytherin right you know like I was <laughs> drawn like, to it exactly yeah. I was just like I really like you know scheming so. yes awesome okay this next question is from Chanel and they ask. Hardest character to create? Ooh, um, I think for me, the hardest characters to create are usually villains because mm -hmm. um, no villain believes they're a villain. Right. You know, they uh, for every villain is the hero of their own story, and so for every villain, you have to create both sort of two different identities, both the person that they really are and the person that they think that they are. Right. And that's always interesting to me, and also. To me, the most interesting villains are something so are the ones who have at least one sympathetic thing about them. Like we don't want to like them, right? But we understand why yeah, they, why they, the way they are. done right, they, why they are yeah. the way they are. We'd like to think we'd make different choices, yeah. <laughs> but we understand what drove them to whatever it is. Yeah, so exactly. the creation of villains is a, is very complex. Mm, okay. Um, Haley asks, how did you come up with the Shadowhunter world? Um, I was uh, living in New York, and I was with a friend of mine who was a tattoo artist. We got talking about uh, the history of tattoos and oh. the fact that people um, for a long time believed that they had magical powers, and I started to think, and still do, you know, yeah. and, and many cultures across the world, and I started to think about what it would be like to create a sort of a race of um, warriors for whom their tattoos really did have magical powers, and how would that work, and what would they fight, demons, where would they live, you know. Yeah, that's kind of awesome. Like there. Really interesting. Um, Rick asks, what character do you most relate to in your books? Um, I think that for me I relate the most to um, probably Simon um, because he is a mundane in the beginning of the books and uh, not, you know, like a person with special powers or, yeah. you know, um, a great warrior or anything like that. Right. And then maybe Tessa also as well from the Clockwork series because she's such a big reader. Yeah. Um, 
Hiba, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they ask, what was your um, favorite first book you've written and why? Ooh, favorite like first book of a series yeah, kind of thing? Several, um, so. Actually, I think Lady Midnight's my yeah. favorite first book of a series that I've written. Um, and I think it was because I really loved creating the Blackthorn family. Like, I'm an only child, and the idea of a really big family that's really close and interconnected, it's always totally fascinating to me. Yeah. So to create all the different Blackthorns and the different personalities, and, you know, that was, um, for me, the most fun. I love the family aspects in your books. Oh, always so yeah. great, yeah. Um, Morgan asks, will the last hours really be the end of the Shadow World? No, the oh. last hours is not supposed to be the end of the Shadow okay. World. The Shadow World is meant to end after that with a series called The Wicked Powers, oh. which will actually bring together sort of all the different characters and threads in one Ooh. final, it's gonna be at the one final battle. Yes. I know, it's going to be like this long. Oh gosh. What are you working on right now, currently? Right now I'm working on um, the first book of The Last Hours and right. also um, the last book of uh, The Dark Artifices, Queen of Air and Darkness. Are you just like always writing? I am just always constantly. I know. I, I, I like have a very complicated <laughs> schedule and yeah. I put this many words of this book each day, and, right. you know, trying to like kind of, you know, yeah, <laughs> stay in both worlds in my head. Yeah, how do you keep it? Like, Together. It's hard, especially it's hard, when I'm yeah. co-writing with Holly because we do Magisterium together. Oh, yeah. So sometimes so I'll be doing three books at once, mm -hmm. and I'm like, and it's it's hard. Yeah. Like I have all these sort of like mental tricks to try to get myself into a space, the space that belongs to one book or another book. So right. like playlists, for instance, yeah. like songs that I only listen to when I'm working on yeah. one book or one series. Right. Kind of, it's like a sense memory thing gets me back in that space. Okay, cool. Um, Clara asks, "What do you do after finishing a book?" <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you publish it? <laughs> um, I think she means like, you know, do I like uh, party? <laughs> yeah, do you party? Yeah. I'm usually exhausted. You like take a week off, you're just like, no more writing. <laughs> I like to, actually, I love traveling. So, what I usually do is like, as a present to myself after I finish a book, I'll go on a trip. So, this year, actually, I went to Cambodia. Okay. Was that for Lord of Shadows or was that for another? That book? was for finishing Lord of Shadows. Okay. So I was like, I get to go to yeah, Southeast Asia. It was awesome. That's great. Um, Livia asks, how do you choose the name of the characters in your books? Um, I do a lot of writing down of interesting names that I come across. Mm -hmm. like, you know, hotel registries, credits for movies are great, yeah. you know, baby names or whatever. And a lot of times, you know, a character will sort of pop into my head and the name will kind of, it's like a magnet will kind of slide across to them. And I'm like, oh, that's, yes, that's yes. the person, that's their name. Just like clicks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know exactly their name. <laughs> Um, Michaela asks, any advice for amateur writers? Um, I mean, read is always my advice. Read a lot. Read, you know, um, not just the kind of books that you, that you already know that you like, but read outside your comfort zone. Yeah. You know, look for recommendations in genres you don't normally read. If you read a lot of fantasy, read crime. If you read a lot of, you know, realistic fiction, read science fiction, because yeah. you'll be able to, uh, you'll, you'll reach a wider range of ideas out there. You'll be able to cross-pollinate genres, and it'll teach you a lot about structure. That's good advice. <laughs> Ashmita asks, would you consider bringing a character back to life? Depends which character. <laughs> I did recently bring a character back to life mm. in uh, Lord of Shadows. Mm. There's a mysterious appearance by a previously dead, pre like, previously dead character, <laughs> so it depends if you can guess who it is. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eva asks, what do you do when you're not writing? You're oh my god, I'm writing. always writing. I guess <laughs> what do you I, mean? She's writing right now. I know, I'm writing in my head. Um, I guess I would say I'm traveling, usually. Yeah. Like, that's, what I, that's what I do for fun that has nothing to do. I mean, you still you know, are like inspiration okay. when you're traveling, though, right? I do. Yeah. And, like, and I'm reading, but I actually kind of think of that as work. Or I'm watching Untold Stories of the ER, oh. which is my new favorite TV show. It has, because it has nothing to do with, like, narrative structure or really? anything yeah. it's just like and then a guy came into the yard ER with a screwdriver in his head and I'm oh, like, oh this is exciting that sounds very dramatic oh it's really dramatic it's really dramatic and i really like it and yeah. my husband is who is always like please stop watching that <laughs> like you know like he'll be like I, right. i'll be like this is so great a guy swallowed like a box of thumbtacks and he's like oh it's like ow i know exactly. <laughs> um ingrid asks what was your favorite book slash books growing up Mm, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Nice. I really love them. I read them until they like fell apart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Shen, or Glory asks, what influenced you to make books set in different countries? I think because I grew up traveling a lot. Yeah. Um, my father was a professor who uh, was a professor of international business, and so we were always at different uh, universities in different places in the world. So we spent a couple years in London. We spent a couple years in Paris. And so 
having lived in, in, in all of these different places, I think I was drawn to, you know, set stories in those places. They were familiar to me, but also, like, I had a real desire to see my characters interact with those spaces. Awesome. Okay, we have one last question. Okay. This is from Michaela, and they ask, what, was, what character was your favorite to write about? Oh, Magnus. Magnus? Magnus is always my favorite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. come on. He's the best. <laughs> Um, before we go, where can people find you on the internet? Um, I'm at uh, CassandraClaire.com. I'm also um, on Twitter at Cassie Claire and on Tumblr at Cassandra Claire. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us today. Well, so good to talk to you. And we will have more interviews on the Epic Reads Facebook page, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.